Hello, welcome to um, what I think is quite a special edition of Northern Southern Beer Reviews. Because um, <clears throat> I've just been looking at my playlists um, on my YouTube channel. And what I do is, depending on where the beer comes from, I, I, I put in different playlists like, you know, American beers, Polish beers and German beers and what have you. And I looked at my English beers playlist. And... Um, this is my 200th English beer. Couldn't believe it. A 200, yeah, I think 200 English beers. So I can't, you know, I can't believe I've done 200 of them. Um, I only, only just, only just, you know, looked it, looked it just now actually. So um, the beer I'm going to use to review or celebrate this fact is um, the new one. Well, I haven't seen it before. It's from Ringwood Brewery. Marston's owned, of course, and it's their Circadian Everyday IPA. Lovely jubbly, coming in at 4.5% ABV. There's the front, as you can see, got that kind of like pig or hog or whatever you want to call it. Oh, I bet he's got a name. If he's got a name, let us know. Put murder me in the comments. And there's the back side, which I shall try and attempt to read to you, because as you can see... I picked up a bottle with a ripped label. Didn't realise it until... Anyway, Ringwood Circadian Everyday IPA. We take two, I think, things seriously here at Ringwood Brewery. Our ales and something short time. So our ales and beers will give you a good bloody time, I would say. Along with creating quality craft ales... I think that was think that says we um, we are relaxation enthusiasts. We are relaxations. I don't know. Our motto is visit the and it says ing downs. <laughs> what does that mean? Visit the fucking downs. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of it's in the middle of that rip. <laughs> <laughs> so kick back and open a bottle of Ringwood Circadian. It's a refreshing all-day IPA, jam-packed with American hops. Um, and they're not giving you what hops there are in this. I wish they would. It'll make my life... No, it won't make my life um, easier. It doesn't say what hops are in this. I would say... I would say Cascade will be one of them. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, murder me in the comments. Uh, Citra could be another one. Um, Amarillo. Amarillo. Is it Amarillo? No, that's a bloody song, in it? By Tony... What's his name? By Tony... Um, is this the... Uh, no, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> let's crack her open, because I'm talking bollocks. This is what happens when, um, you know, you do beer reviews and that. You end up talking a load of bollocks. Like you do. And really, the emphasis should be on the beer, and not what crap comes out of my mouth. Anyway, cool, I've already got a big whiff of, of kind of like lemon peel coming out. The big lemon peel, big pine as well. There's the crown, with that pig on, or hog on. Tell me, what's, tell me his name, anyway. I'd like to know his name. If he's got one, he might not have one. Oh, that smells lovely. That smells... Um, lemon and pine come to mind. Definitely lemon and pine there. It smells fresh as well. It smells... Maybe... A slight hint of grassness to it, but it's, it's very... Very lemony and pine. So let's pour out like we do. Chuck her in, see what happens, see what delights she will give me, as I say. So I pulled her halfway and I'm going to give her a swell. Let's see if we can get nice aromas from this one. And it still retain that lemon and pine kind of aroma. Also, I think there's something like uh, maybe a fig even, a hint of fig. With... Definitely a lime, apricot, <coughs> excuse me, apricot coming through. It smells really nice. It smells 
full of flavour, and that's what I like about you know IPAs. I do like me IPAs. Um, to be honest, I don't know anybody who don't like IPAs or hates them because they're so full of flavour, you know. And um, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Having loads of flavour, like you do. So, as you can see there, very clear looking, a little stream of carbonation, uh, quite a, a white head, which is going down. It's, it's quite white, actually. Um, I would say it's more gold than pale gold, and it looks rather, rather nice. So... Happy 200th English beer. Cheers. Hmm, that's nice. First off, incredibly drinkable. Big bitter edge at big big bitter edge at the beginning. Um you're getting that kind of like grapefruit bitterness, and it converts into like a pine grass finish to it as it goes along. And in between that, you're getting like nice fruity apricot um, notes with maybe lemon skin there as well. But it is very sessionable for starters. Soon as I drunk, you know, took took a sip of it, you, you can you can really really drink a shed load of it. It is nice. Plenty of flavour going on. Um, also, I've just picked up something. It reminds me of um, there's a sweetness there. It reminds me of. Remember them sweets you used to get with little love hearts on? I think they're actually called love hearts. Little round things. You get that kind of sweetness there, which is associated with them as, as I'm going in as well. But all in all, boys and girls, Ringwood, Circadian, Everyday IPA, it's a cracking beer, that. I like that. Um, obviously, it's Marston's. It's, um, you know, they're owned by Marston's. But um, forget all about all that crap. That... It's actually quite a nice beer. That is, that is, does what it says. You can, very drinkable. And you could drink it every day. And on that bombshell, see you on my next one.